Whoa, ho, what's going on, guys? 51 weeks out now. 51 weeks away. Now, let's reflect on that for a moment, right? What does that mean? A big point I want to make with that is does anything change between week 52 and week 51? No. Well, I am making some changes, but not because of that one week span. But when it comes to understanding how much time we actually have to improve, one of my weeks that I can progress and get better is gone now. That countdown counted down a little bit. There's a little less time I can use to improve. And that one week that just passed, right, <clears throat> to the millisecond is the exact same amount of time I have from week two to one. You know, when I'm one week out of a competition, that's the exact same 24 hours, seven days a week I had 50 weeks ago. So what does that mean, right? <coughs> it means that just because a due date or just because something comes closer doesn't mean now it's time to put the work in. The work you put in every minute, hour, day, week, month, whatever, it all compounds and it all matters. If you slip up right now, is it as important as if you <clears throat> slip up, you know, the day before the show? No, because it's going to change your physique that day. Of course not. But, but my friends, in terms of your overall growth and progress, even something as stupid as, you know, if you missed a meal 51 weeks ago, is it going to change what your body looks like on stage a year from now? You know, and the honest answer is yes, it will. <clears throat> is it going to be radically different, that one meal over a year ago? No, of course not. But first of all, let's talk about that habit, right? If you're somebody who's going to habitually miss meals and not really care about it, or think nothing of it, chances are you're going to do it again and again and again. Now from there, that's where things start to really affect your physique. So, how do I describe it? <clears throat> every ounce of sleep you get, every grain of rice, every piece of chicken. It all matters. Every egg you eat, all of it matters, man. You know, is every donut going to matter? You know, not necessarily. <clears throat> Our bodies are only going to use so many of those nutrients, and the rest of them is going to turn to fat and that we have to take away. But every bit of quality work and quality food that we eat and we do every single day, all of it matters. All of it freaking matters, man. <clears throat> and that's the point I want to make there. Is, you know, is it scary that we have one less week to get ready for the show? And our, you know, physique from a year ago, a, a year away? It's not scary. <clears throat> you know, there's plenty of time. Did I waste that week? Not at all. I didn't miss a meal, didn't miss a workout, didn't miss a cardio session, didn't miss anything. We were on point to the T. But this is how I always am. Would I be kicking myself if I messed things up? Yeah, I would be. Because it all adds up, right? But this week I gained about a pound. Looking about the same fat-wise. We put on maybe about a pound of muscle, give or take, maybe a little less. And those small changes, man, those small changes would actually add up and make you better. So this is just a friendly reminder for you guys to make sure not to take your time for granted. <clears throat> because 52 weeks out sounds like a long time. But if you're getting ready for a show, and it takes 16 weeks to get ready for that show, you have 32 chances left. 32 minus 16 is 52, you know what I mean. 32 plus 16 
is 52. <clears throat> that means I have, for me personally, I have 31 weeks left worth of working out where I'm eating in a caloric surplus. Meaning that I only have 31 more leg days to make my legs bigger for the show. I only have 31 more chest days, more arm days, more everything to get bigger for this competition to then try to turn pro. <clears throat> now, when you break it down that way, you know, it adds up and it adds up fast. You really only have four opportunities to build up a muscle group every month. If you're training things once a week, there's about four weeks in a month. You know, the last week's always cut short, so we're not going to count that. Even if you want to count it five, that's, that's not great. But let's say four. If you skip one leg day, right, or one chest day, or something happened one day, you had a bad workout, or you were sick, let's say you missed one of those. <clears throat> you missed 25% of how much your legs could have grown that month. That month. Because you skipped it. If you had a half-assed workout, and you're somebody who usually works out hard, and your body needs an intense workout, you know, you missed 25% of how much you could have improved that month. And man, when you look at it that way, it's scary. And now when you're looking at it from a competitor's side, right? We don't have 12 months. So if you miss one workout, <clears throat> you know, you're missing 25% of what you could have anabolically positively responded to in that month's time. And if you do that every month, you know, you missed 25% of what your legs could grow in a year. What? Dude. And you're going to skip a workout? You're going to skip meals? You're going to cheat? You're the only person you're cheating is yourself, man. You know, if you have to move things around one day or get in there do the best you can, absolutely. And I'm not saying going in there and doing the best you can is the same thing as skipping, right? Because of course that's better. Maybe, you, let's say you had a, a rushed arm workout, right? You couldn't get through your whole program. You did the best you could. You got out of there. Because you ran out of time. You had other things to attend to. Ideally, would you have been better off waking up earlier, getting two meals in you, and then going to the gym and then dealing with life? Sure. But not everybody does that. So the next best thing is get to the gym, <clears throat> rush through your lift the best you can, right? Why is there a hair on my coffee? I know it's a dog hair, but still. It's all over my car. But um, rush through that workout, and instead of your arm growth being 25% less than it could have been this month, maybe it was only 15% or 10%. But those percentages, man, they add up. And there's no makeups. You can't miss a leg day one week and do legs twice the next week and add it up. You're just messing up two weeks now. You're missing 50% of your anabolic growth. Because that other week, if you were training legs twice, they didn't have enough time to rest and repair. So you're just hurting yourself more. There's no going back in time and fixing that. So guys, just make sure you use every single ounce of time you have to better yourself and understand that it does all matter, you know? <clears throat> Everything you eat matters. Every workout matters. Every step on cardio matters. It all matters to a degree, you know? People say don't stress about it and, you know, what you eat doesn't matter that much and it doesn't matter. You, just, you go to the gym all the time. You can skip a workout. But when you want to improve, man, it matters. It always matters. If you have to skip one leg day, here's a big one for you. If you want to skip one leg day a month, right, because your girl wants to do something on a Saturday, you know, find a better time to, find a better time to do that leg day or, or get rid of the girl. You know, if she's messing up your gains, get rid of her. Oh, could you imagine if you got rid of her before pumpkin picking season? She'd be furious. Matter of fact, now's your time. Where now is the time for the ultimatum, boys. Where the girls want the fancy, cute little pumpkin pictures. They don't want to be single right now. Right now is not single season. Right now is couples pumpkin picking season. If you say, listen. 
don't mess up my leg days or I'm going to break up with you. I'm not saying do this. That's not a good idea, but I'm not an ultimatum kind of guy. But, but, and now would be the time to do it because you got some leverage. She doesn't want to be single right now. Even if you just started dating, she doesn't want to be single right now. She wants pumpkin pictures and all that nonsense. So you got some leeway, boys. Use it to your advantage. But my point of that was, if you have a girl who's making you skip a leg day once a month because she wants to do something stupid on a Saturday, right? And I mean, first of all, that's your fault because if you know your girl wants to do something stupid on a Saturday and you continuously keep your workout on a Saturday, you know, open up your Saturday for her, right? It's not that hard. <clears throat> you can change your split around. Or if she wants to do something stupid on a Saturday, you know, one Saturday a month, or one Friday a month rather, Go to bed extra early, wake up extra early on that Saturday, get two meals in you, and then go train. You know, there's no excuses. But you're with this girl for 10 years, you know, and you're messing up once a month. Your legs would be bigger by 25% every time. You're going to be walking around with a Dorito back and the freaking twigs in your legs. We don't want that. <clears throat> so do the best you can, my friends. Train hard, eat harder. Understand that every single bit of it matters. And I'll see you tomorrow for a big boy back day. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. Um, we're eating 12 meals a day now instead of six. We'll touch on that another day. That was the change I made from 52 to 51. Not because of that monthly change. Not because we lost one week. <clears throat> Because I want to see how much it helps my anabolic response. Making those meals a little bit smaller but more frequently to let my A, kidneys synthesize and utilize more protein at once. B, because my body's been a little weird lately with big, big meals where I'm getting kind of nauseous. I know I told you about that a while ago. So I'm seeing if I make those meals a little bit smaller for the most part. Not all of them, but for the most part. If it helps. <clears throat> the only meals that aren't going to change is my pre-workout meal is still going to be a big boy meal. My post-workout meal is still going to be a big boy meal. And my meal before bed is still going to be 10 ounces of red meat. Those three aren't changing. The rest of them are basically cut in half. More or less. Cut in half and kind of added a little bit. Half plus, if you will. But yeah, so. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a big boy back day. We're going to get, uh, it's about one o'clock right now. We have about eight more meals to eat because we got up a little late today, but we're going to get them in. We're going to eat every hour, hour and a half at most, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's freaking get it, baby. Let's grow.